A game changer! Car design that looks like coke. I drive sweet things like stingers and boats. I got father in my jokes. I drive sweet things like Kia's. Remember the Hyundai Veloster? The old college try of hot hatches? Well, well, well. Look who graduated and is employed already. And it's not even summer yet. Remember GoldenEye 64? It's almost like sleepovers didn't exist before that game came out. The Kia Stinger is the GoldenEye 64 of cars. It may not reinvent the wheel, but it's hard to imagine a time Kia ever came this correct. For a lot of owners, the most interesting thing about the Stinger will be the conversations you'll have about it. In the sense that people don't actually believe it's a Kia, it's just too Tesla looking. And this car goes against the knee-jerk negative reactions a lot of people have about Kias. Where they'll begrudgingly admit that some of their cars are okay, but they're mostly trying to make polite conversation with someone who owns one. And in general, if those people were any more charitable with their comments about Kias than they already are, those comments would be tax-deductible. It's like prefacing a criticism with the phrase, Not for nothing. I can promise you, nothing complimentary ever comes after the phrase, not for nothing. It's the, I'm not racist, but for people who aren't racist, but who love talking trash on the down low. Oh, put the soup in the soup, beat up, beat up. Oh, put the ram in the ram, a lamb, 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 a lamb. Kia Stinger, brought to you by anti brand loyalty. Kia Stinger, brought to you by reminding everyone that this is a Kia. Yes, they used to make econo boxes in the early 2000s. Now they're making luxury sports sedans. I know. Yes, I know it's a Kia. Yes, I saw the word Kia on the front. Yes, I can believe it. Yes, I like your GMT Master. Oh, it's fake? I had no idea. My dick won't be quiet. My dick won't be quiet. As for Kia, the brand thrives on what you see being what you get. But this is more than what appears on the surface, to the point of almost being over-designed. So a bit of confusion is understandable, even expected. Dick Detention. The idea behind the Kia Stinger dates back to 2011 when the Kia GT concept car made its debut at the 2011 Frankfurt Auto Show, followed by the Kia GT4 Stinger at the North American International Auto Show three years after that. I court your girl by courting her casserole mother. Oh, Jimmy has a nice car. There's more, I know, there's more, there's always more, there's always more. Kia wanted to design a street-style compact executive car, load it up with dick pills, and send it out into the streets looking like a secret weapon you have to do a speed run of Final Fantasy IX to unlock. And on that subject, the design was inspired by Coca-Cola and their sexy glass bottles that literally no one drinks from anymore. Because you can't find them anywhere, and even then, who wants to deal with properly disposing of glass? Even if I like soda, I'm not ready for that kind of responsibility. Warm her into your fantasies, and never speak of it, except for playing Stacy's mom and looking at your girlfriend with loaded eyes. In an interview, co-designer Gregory Lee Giaham claimed that the Stinger would be a true Gran Turismo, a car for spirited long distance. Furthermore, he claimed that the car wasn't so much about straight-up power dynamics or testosterone-injected styling, but more about taking the aspects that would make the Stinger a top-line Gran Turismo car and marrying it to the luxury, comfort, and grace that you'd expect from a car with a marketing campaign that used GQ magazine, Super Bowl 52, and the second season of the Grand Tour to get that name out there. And wash away the reputation that Kia makes a fleet of cars that are basically just... All right. For crying out loud, the Super Bowl ad had senior discount Steven Tyler pulling a Superman and driving in reverse to turn back the flow of time. That's an ad campaign they went with because marketing doesn't have to make sense anymore. I pinch my foreskin clothes to make my dick inflate with pee. As Giaham explains, the Stinger has nothing to do with being the first to arrive at the destination. The car is all about the journey. 
platitude. In its design layout, it's very good. The Stinger utilizes a compact version of the front-engine rear-wheel drive Hyundai Genesis platform, except Kia has added reinforced steel and a host of engine options, from a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder, a 3.3-liter twin-turbo V6, which is what this has, and the 2.2-liter diesel inline-4 for Europe and Asia. With the 3.3-liter twin-turbo V6, you get 365 horsepower, which goes through an 8-speed automatic transmission. You see, when Reese set out to choose a car, it was either this, a Chevy SS, a BMW M3, or the Lexus GS350, and he chose the Stinger. Because he doesn't give a shit about badging, and honestly, he's kind of over V8s. The Stinger is faster, it costs less, and it handles like an M3, and it feels better than every single one of those cars, and it's also good for passengers. I know, right? All of this over a, a Chevy SS, right? Well, the Kia Stinger doesn't wash around in comfort mode. It's a firm cloud. It's a firm hand! Ugh! But Reese apparently owns the only Kia Stinger in Rochester, New York. How he knows this is a mystery, and how it could be true is an even bigger one, but we believe him because Reese is a good guy, and we had a great day filming with him, and Lord only knows it can sometimes be hard to find volunteers who are this accommodating and patient. And yet, it's easy to write off the Stinger as just another ballin' on a budget car. For men who call their wives and girlfriends, my old lady. You'd think it's for men who are married, but they still come into work saying, Yo, I got some last night. Their wives. They're talking about their wives. You're allowed to have sex with your wife, but they feel that they have to high-five and pop their collars like it's 2009. A car for the guy who saw the music video for once again, Stacy's mom, when he was 13 and wondered why the kid preferred the mom to the daughter. Because not all young boys have crushes on older women, you know? Not when you're stuck in hell's class with Miss Andelberg and her varicose veins that look like a roadmap of Scranton Wilkes-Barre. But this is Kia's moment. It's a luxury sports sedan that's more unique than an M5 and M3 and more comfortable than an SS and more advanced too. It's priced cheaper than a 7 Series and S classes, but doesn't feel it. Dude, you know what I'm, th I'm thinking we're looking at here? The Kia Stinger is Korea's Honda CB750 moment. The moment when you schooled the world. Remember how I said you feel the Chevy SS's weight in turns? Sure, whatever. It's a big American sports sedan. But the Kia Stinger turns into a hatchback when it turns. It sheds its weight when you want to play. And you hear the turbos. It, it, it's not going to hiss. Of course, it recirculates. There's no bro-off valves. And they tried to smooth out the torque curve with the boost. Now we're out on the road, pulling a slight hill. And if we roll into it, there it goes. So it's 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 this little gauge which oh doesn't refresh very fast. Oh, that is like one frame per second. Okay, all right. So that boost gauge is telling me that it's boosting. Dink, dink, dink. There. Yeah. Wow, okay. Can I change my settings? And it feels modern. It feels at the knife edge of what we're doing now with internal combustion. Yeah, right. This isn't a demon, but it's not an SS either. And it's interesting because the Kia Stinger rides on no reputation. But Kia can only look forward. It has to live in the now and tomorrow. If the Kia Stinger GT was a book, it would have a generic cover hiding the worth between the pages. Take Main Traveled Roads by Hamlin Garland. That cover is pretty much an open invitation to just completely ignore what's probably some weird frontier tale about people trying to ford a stream but shit themselves to death in the effort. But what you get is a fascinating collection of different stories that include intrigue, heartache, death, and all the complexities of human emotion made instantly relatable, because those sorts of feelings and issues are as universal as the belt Brock Lesnar is never around to defend. And at last Kia's done right With the Kia Stinger And at last Kia's done right It's almost 
just like a Tesla And the handling feels just right Even though it's not a manual All at once I'm fast but I feel safer